Hey gorgeous, it's Carlene. Thank you for tuning back into my channel. In today's video, I have a really quick what's in my bag. This bag is newer to my collection. I haven't talked about it on this channel yet. And the bag I'm talking about is my newest Telfar mini shopping tote. This is in the metallic blue. I'm not sure the exact color, but I will put all of the details of this bag in the description box for you. But yeah, this is the newest addition to my handbag collection. I just think she is so adorable and so modern. A fresh take on metallics because everyone's doing metallics right now, particularly silver, some gold. But I really wanted to do something a little bit different. When they notified us about the metallic drop, I knew immediately I was going to get this one. This one just stood out to me and I'm so happy to have it. So anyway, if you want to see what fits in this bag and hear me babble about it a little bit more, then please stay tuned. Hey friend, welcome back. You already know what it is. I love doing these videos. You all love them and so I'm so happy that you're back. To those of you who are new here on this channel, I make videos on lifestyle, luxury, I do review videos, and I also sprinkle in a little bit of my motherhood journey. So if any of those things pique your interest, then I would love to have you be a part of the family. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also turn on that notification bell so you know exactly where my videos drop. All right, let's get into it. Okay, y'all, so I'm trying to find the bag on Telfar's website right now so I can fill you all in. Okay, so this is, the one I have is the small shopping bag in the color Cobalt. And as I just mentioned, I knew I had to have this bag because it is such a fresh take on metallics. This is a cobalt blue metallic. And y'all see, it. you can wear this with jeans, you can wear it with what I have on today. You can do this with neutrals, you can do this with all white, you can do this with a monochrome blue look. So you can do a lot with this. And another reason why I went for this is because I knew it would hold up well in terms of cost per wear throughout the year. So while I may not want to pull out a metallic silver bag, you know, in, in like the summertime, depending on style wise what I'm wearing, I am probably not going to have a hard time pulling this color out in the summertime because it is blue. It's bright, but not too bright. It's a darker color, but not too dark. And then the metallic finish gives it a bit of interest. So y'all, this bag is just perfect. It's the perfect little pop of pizzazz, but it's not doing too much. You know what I mean? As you can see, the look I have on today goes perfectly with this handbag. This is a top I got from Revolve. And then I have it on with some white parachute pants. Obviously, I'm probably going to wear white sneakers with this look today. And y'all, this bag just goes perfectly. All right, so now for the reason you all are here, let me show you how much fits in this bag. Now, if you've seen my previous Telfar videos, you already know how much I can fit into this small shopping bag. But if you haven't seen any of those videos, well, let's go ahead and get into it. And I'll also link my previous videos for you here. So the first thing I'm pulling out is a perfume. This is Alien Goddess Supra Floral. I've been carrying this with me everywhere. This is what I would call a beast mode fragrance. That's why it looks like I haven't been using it because all you need is one spray, honestly. And I like to use this when my fragrance of the day has faded a bit to just give me something fresh. I love florals. I love white florals. So this is like perfect. Also in here, I have my card case, my key holder. I actually was able to fit another card case in here. This is my newest Polen card case. Honestly, this is like a wallet, y'all. And I've really been loving this um, card case. I knew I would love the way it looks, but it's also super functional. So that fits in here along with the card case, y'all. I have in here my face powder. This is the Easy Bake and Snatch powder from Huda Beauty in the color Cinnamon Bun. I have a lipstick in here. These are my favorite lippies. This is a Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. This is in the shade Catwalking. Um, I have a gloss in here. This is my this is my Tower 28 gloss in the color Oat. 
I have a lip liner in here. This is a Sephora. Actually, this is an eye pencil, but I use it as a lip liner. It's from Sephora. You can get this like right before you check out. And this is in the shade Deep Brown. And that was everything that fit in here. So what I thought I'd do next and what I thought would be really interesting is to show you how I configure everything in here. So let's do that together. I'm gonna put um, my Poland card case in here. Next, I'm gonna put my key holder on the other side. I'm gonna put my card case in the middle. I'm gonna put my face powder in the middle as well. My fragrance is going to go in here. It's kind of late. I'm just gonna kind of put it like that in there for right now. And then all three of my lippies are going to go in here as well. And then I'm going to try to. So I went ahead and laid the perfume kind of sideways. If I wanted to, I could fit my phone in here if I could if I re reconfigured these things. But just so you can see, everything is still in there. But when I'm holding it, you can't see anything. Nothing is peeking out. Nothing is bulging anywhere. And everything is just nice and snug in here. So yeah, if I really wanted to, I could fit my phone. Let me see if I can. And then I'll show you guys what it looks like. I'm telling you all, do not underestimate this little bag. It fits a ton. My phone is in there, y'all. That is my phone right there, and everything else is still in here. And as you can see, nothing is showing through. So for me, I'm going to wear this over the shoulder. I do occasionally wear this crossbody when I'm in a pinch, when I need to do something for one of my kids, and I don't want the contents to fall out or my bag to fall off my shoulders. I will use it crossbody, but I really love using this as a shoulder bag, or in some cases, I'll hold it like this by the top handle. So yeah, this this color y'all is everything beautiful beautiful color so keep your eye out for this obviously their drops are you know they go really quickly although i have noticed lately that when they have a drop even if it's like a color i don't want like i'll i'll keep it i'll pay attention to like how it's going and i have noticed recently that unless it's like a neutral color if it's like a different type of color like something colorful you do have a little bit of time to get your hands on it. With this particular drop, I noticed that the bags did not sell out within like the first hour. Particularly this color was still available within like the first hour. So just in case you were trying to get your hands on one of these, you know how annoying the drops can be. Try to go for the colors that you don't think everyone else is gonna go for. In my experience, what makes it easier is to first, I've already signed up, I'm registered on the website, and secondly, I tend to go through my Apple Pay and that makes to go super fast. PayPal may be a good route as well, but you just want to have your information in the system or on your phone so that you can quickly just check out. And if you're trying to take the time to type in a credit card number, you're going to lose out on the bag. So that's one thing. The other tip is to go for the colors that you don't think everyone else is going to go for. So that's what I did with this drop and it was very painless. I got my bag within the next week and all is well. So yeah this will be my third telfar handbag and i will link all the videos of my previous handbags from the brand down below for you or somewhere in this video so you can go back and watch i know some of you are my perfume girlies on this channel scent of the day will be flower bombs ruby orchid right is that the name ruby orchid yeah a flower bomb ruby orchid mixed with taco musk by al rahab <sighs> the chocolatey the milk chocolatey goodness of this is going to pair so well, so well with the sweetness and the fruitiness in here. So that is what I am wearing today. Okay, friend, before I leave you today, I wanted to share with you something that I've been reminded of this week. And this is something that we have all been reminded of ad nauseum over and over again in excess. But honestly, I don't think we can ever be reminded of this too much. As I've been on this journey to really push myself to be all that God has created me to be, I've experienced doubt sometimes um, as a result of many different things. And one of the things that I was reminded of is that even in the absence of support, the absence of encouragement, or maybe the presence of a slight, maybe people we know are sliding us in different ways, whatever your situation may be today, if you are not doing it, someone else probably wants to do it 
and will do it. That's just a little piece of wisdom that I feel like is timeless. God will use people to accomplish the things he wants to accomplish on this earth. And if I am not doing what he wants me to do to further his message and his kingdom, he's going to use someone else. And chances are, y'all, what I found is that when you are doubted by others, they probably wish they could do what you're doing or really, really want to do what you're doing. Or maybe even if they don't see themselves doing it at that particular time, Time, you'll look back some years later and see that someone that had doubted you or maybe discouraged you you'll look back some years later and see that they're doing the exact same thing that you were doing <laughs> so I say all that to say keep your head in the game stay focused for me Obviously, I have to tap into my creator. My creator is God. I believe in his son, Jesus, and his sacrifice, how he died on the cross for my sins. And that's sort of like a compass for me. So you have to tap into your belief system. What is your belief system? That's gonna give you a compass. And then you have to look around and take inventory of all of your gifts. And usually our purpose is wrapped up in our gifts. Um, that's not to say that our gifts are tied to money. Our gifts are the way that we're gonna make money. That's not always the case. And in fact, most of the time it's not. But your gifts can make room for and give you a pathway to make money later on but usually our gifts are wrapped up in the things that we're really good at when we're helping others and then also you want to identify your why so going into this week think about what your belief system is and your compass then take inventory of your gifts and then try to identify what your big why is for me my big why is being a mom my children i know that everything that their dad and i do like every single thing is influencing them whether we see it or not i'm also always considering legacy i'm always thinking about their future and so those are some of my big whys and they kind of drive me and give me motivation even on days when i don't feel very motivated so i know i said a lot there but i hope that encourages you i know that i will be reflecting on all of these things this week as well thank you so much for watching this video i will see See you in the next one very soon. Mm -hmm. Bye.